Welcome to Fine Art for All. My name is Barbara Mendes, and tonight we're going to look at three paintings that I have in the studio and examine some of the intricate stories inside them. Then we're going to have a segment featuring a Torah comic, which will feature a story about King David taken from the book of Samuel in the Bible. And the third thing we're going to do is a segment called Now We Paint, where I'm going to work on a painting that I began on the first two segments of Fine Art for All, and I promise I won't finish it tonight, so part of the fun of the show is watching me create a painting. Let's begin looking at the paintings. I'm going to start with this painting over here, and it's called Celestial Academy. It was done in 1996 when I was first learning about the Jewish community, which is my heritage, and I had just um, gone to y Yeshiva of Los Angeles Adult School to begin learning about Torah. And frankly, the circle of trees symbolizes the beautiful courtyard at Yeshiva of Los Angeles. And these are the people, the story of the painting is that when we die, we never stop learning. Even when we die, there's an academy in heaven, and we're still learning. So I always think, since we're with the dead people, we can invite anyone we want. And here's Moshe Rabbeinu. Moses is the leader of the Celestial Academy. He's what we call the Rosh Yeshiva. And all these other famous rabbis are here. This happens to be Rabbi Henry Pereira Mendes, who was my great-grandfather. And he was the founder and first president of the Orthodox Union and rabbi at Shirith Israel, the Spanish-Portuguese synagogue in New York, for 60 years. This, I believe, is Lubavitcher Rebbe. And these are other famous rabbis. And these are symbolically the rabbis that we read about in the Talmud and in Pirkei Avot, which I was learning at the time. And the rest of it is a wild uh, symbolizing of heaven, because it's very ethereal, and we don't know what it looks like. So I symbolize the spiritual very often in my work with just bright colors. Now let's look at the next piece, which is quite recent. And in fact, it's dated 2006. And this is called the Mes Menorah Psalm painting. And the Sephardic people in our daily prayer book, we turn to a page and we see this menorah shape. And written within the branches of the menorah is Psalm 67. And you can all at home look in your Bible and look up Psalm 67, and you will see that it's a very beautiful psalm that talks about all the world thanking God and all the world knowing about God's Torah. And so to, in order to share with the most amount of people the beautiful meaning, I've actually included the English. And I'm going to read some of the lines. May God favor and bless us. May he shine, may his face shine among us. Selah, that's like to teach your way on earth and all the nations of your saving. And this is a crucial line. Nations will thank you, God. All nations will thank you. Now, the painting does a time and space warp. Because all the nations are going to know the Torah, at the bottom, I put the stories of the Torah, the stories of our patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But what about God's saving? That must be from Egypt. So here I show the taskmasters of Egypt and the slavery in Egypt. But over here comes Moses, who of course saved us, baby Moses, grew up to save the people. And here are the Israelites, after crossing the Red Sea, escaping, being saved from Egypt, and going on their way toward Mount Sinai. Now, the Jewish people, as you know, did settle in the land of Israel. And here they are in Bible times, bringing their produce to the temple. Here the painting does a time and space warp. All of a sudden, we're going to the same place right now in modern times. Go to Jerusalem, you go up this road, up, 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 and you get to the holy city of Jerusalem. Now, once again, we're in modern times. This is Tel Aviv. This is the modern coast of Israel. So that must make this the Mediterranean Sea. Now the ships, there are sailing ships, there's rowboats, there's Indian canoes, there's ocean liners. Every type of time and space is crossed in this painting. And we see the continents of the world where now all the people are thanking God. This is Africa. And we see all the African people are thanking God. Now if you can follow me all the way across the ocean to Europe, we also see all the people are thanking God. And if we can cross this big ocean up here, we'll see that in America also they're thanking God. And even across to California, and at the tippy top is my granddaughter Melody thanking God. And I also want to make a note of the top line. The psalm begins, for the musician of songs, a musical psalm. Now, where do you think they could possibly have been singing this psalm? Where were these musicians at? Do you know where they were at? They were in the temple, in the Bet HaMikdash. And that's why in this place here in the painting, we show the holy temple. And we're on the steps of the um, big part where this menorah really stood in temple times. There was a huge golden menorah there. And looking out, we see the priests with their musical instruments. 
and some of them are singing, some of them have trumpets, drums, and the singers, what are they singing? They're singing this psalm. So the next painting is David and Abigail. And I'd like you to take a look, good look because this is the subject of the comic that we're going to see. It's about the time when David met Abigail. And the comic story is going to tell the story of about it. But you will see in the painting how they're both coming down a hill and they meet each other mystically in the forest because David was coming to wreak revenge and Abigail came to say, no, don't take revenge. Instead, have all this beautiful food that I'm bringing you. And one thing I like to joke about this episode in the book of Samuel is if David, King David is ever coming to visit you, then you better have the following supplies, these 200 breads and these um, five slaughtered sheep, two things of wine, grain, dried figs, dried raisins, and have that handy. So um, at this time, we're going to see a roll-in that's going to show a comic, and the comic will tell the story of David and Abigail. So enjoy the roll-in, and when we come back, we'll do Now We Paint. David and Abigail by Shmuel Hanavi and Barbara Mendes. Fleeing King Shaul's wrath, David needs help on his path. Ask food from wealthy Nabal. He's shearing sheep in Carmel. We cared for all his shepherds. Now we need help as well. Nabal refuses any food. He says you are unknown. Each man gird your sword. This ingrate must be shown. Your husband spurns giving David aid. David guarded our sheep. Now he's planning a raid. Pack donkeys with 200 breads, wine, meat, toasted grain, and clusters of raisins and figs. I'll ride behind our mission plain. For nothing did I help Nabal. Now he ignores my cry. God shall do to David's foes. Now he and his will die. It's my fault, please hear me. Don't blame that man so base. I'm the one who failed to see your people in our place. But now Hashem has by your life prevented blood and strife with food for all your people from your servant, Nabal's wife. God will build your house to last. You fight his wars without fail. Your moral worth unhurt today. You'll be king and recall Abigail. Blessed is God who sent you today, and your words and yourself as well. Thus the God of Israel's way for you to live to tell. If you had been more slow, your people would all be dead. Your food is good, and you may go. I have heard everything you said. Ten days later, Nabal died. David blessed his blameless life. This memory made him decide to take Abigail as his wife. 